Hello, Tom from Never Center here. Um, I'm going to show you in this video the new features and things we've added in Silo 2022.1. Um, and the biggest new feature for this release is uh, built-in time-lapse screen recording. So you can record your modeling sessions really easily without the use of any external software. And um, it's very simple. I'll show you how it goes. Um, so you come down to, in the file menu, you can either just start and stop the time-lapse recording or open its option windows, which has a start and stop button right here. Um, so the options are the target speed and uh, like um, if your computer's fast enough, you can record it in real time. Um, but then there's these other speeds that uh, basically take a, a screenshot of it, you know, once every um, third frame basically. Uh, to turn it into a fast time-lapse video. Um, you can choose the quality uh, in this field right here, uh, the video file that it saves, and then you can either record the full desktop or just the uh, application window. So let's start recording really quick just to show you how this works. So when I click Start Recording, um, it says first choose where I'm going to save my file. I'll just save it over this one that I made to test. And then uh, basically, as soon as I hit OK, then it will start recording my session. And so I'm doing this one at three times speed. So the resulting video will go about three times as fast as what I'm doing here. So maybe I'm modeling, I select an edge loop and slide it or something. Maybe move it along its normals with local move. And maybe I uh, select an edge ring, Alt R, cut that. This, whoops, with um, X, and maybe some local move. I won't keep doing this for long. So divide to check it out. Maybe I'll give it a edge crease with a variable edge crease, something like that. Anyway, there, there's my fancy modeling session. So now I'm going to stop recording and it will tell me that it's been finished and saved. And again, you can use either the button here to start and stop recording or from the file menu, uh, you can start and stop time-lapse recording from this menu item right here. And if you want to assign that to a hotkey, then just hit, so maybe I want to assign it to tilde. I hit that hotkey while I'm hovering over it in the menu and then, um, it will let me assign it to that and then I can start and stop it without the window open or anything and uh, just jump right into it. So let's go check out the amazing modeling time lapse I made. You can see it's like I'm going quite fast, um, but you wish I was going a little bit faster. But um, anyway, there you can see how that works. Very simple, don't need any external software and uh, can easily make shareable videos, which is awesome. Um, that's not all we've done for this update. So we've done a few other things. Um, one of them is that, uh, you'll notice manipulators like the translate manipulator. Now, when you move to where this, like this X, um, axis to drag this along here, when I move it so that that axis is pointing almost in or out of the screen, it goes away so that you don't click it when you're trying to click one of the other handles that works with all the axes. And it's just a, little workflow thing that uh, adds a nice amount of uh, ease and speed. One of the other things um, and it's also useful in, in orthographic viewports uh, previously have been a little bit difficult sometimes to select when you want to select that center handle. But you'll also notice in orthographic views now the work grid is infinite and you can um, have the work grid extend um, however far out you're zoomed. Um, so that's another handy little thing. Uh, and then there are also several bug fixes that we put in this. Um, just a bunch of little things that have been reported from uh, when we released Silo 2022.0. Um, there are some other things with lasso selection and area selection that were bugs that we fixed. Um, and some things with materials editor. Anyway, you can check the notes. But um, we're excited about this. We're excited to see what you can make with the, the easy time lapse. Um, again, just very convenient to be able to do that without any external software. Um, and just a, a sneak preview that we're, we're continuing to work on bigger things in the background. So we've been doing some of these features, but um, there's some really cool 
larger stuff that we're working on for some near future releases that's taking us some longer time but uh we're on it and we think you'll be excited about it let us know what you think and as always send us feedback we'd love to hear about it uh, mention it in the comments or write into us and we look forward to hearing what you got to say thanks <laughs>